Thank you, Elise. And this team is unified. But today we have some serious business. Babies burned alive in ovens. Girls raped so violently their pelvic bones broke. Young people mowed down as they ran for their lives at a music festival. Victims paraded through the streets in celebration. This is Hamas. Our ally Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East. It's fighting for its very existence and defending themselves from unequivocal acts of terror as we speak. And yet, it's baffling that some of our colleagues on the other side of the aisle have a hard time calling Hamas's barbarity what it is. Terrorism. It's terrorism that should never be tolerated, never be excused, and never be rationalized no matter what political party you're, affili uh, you're affiliated with. That is why, in our first order of business under Speaker Mike Johnson, House Republicans made it resoundingly clear that we unapologetically stand with Israel. Not just when Israel is attacked, but also when Israel rightly defends itself. Good versus evil should be easily identified in this situation, but unfortunately it's not for some. Now we're seeing anti-Semitism on the rise in this country like never before. Border agents are being warned to look out for Hamas and Hezbollah sympathizers trying to take advantage of the Biden administration's open borders agenda. And weak need leadership continues to enable terrorism around the globe. Now more than ever, we cannot afford to be silent. We cannot afford to be hesitant. And as much as we may disagree on certain policy issues, we must come together to condemn Hamas without any footnotes or disclaimers support our ally Israel and secure our own borders. House Republicans have provided the blueprints to do all of this. I can only hope that the Biden White House and Democrats in Congress will eventually join us in delivering on these common sense policies for the American people. And with that, I turn it over to our Majority Leader, Steve Scalise.